Greeting to all my good friends. When your red blood cell count drops, you have a condition called anemia. In this case, oxygen does not reach all organs and tissues of the body. When this happens, signs and symptoms appear in the body from which you can tell that you have anemia. In this video, I want to introduce you to the most important symptoms of anemia. The first sign is pale skin. The most common symptom of anemia is pale skin, which the color of the skin is abnormally light compared to normal. The pair is usually due to a decrease in blood flow caused by a decrease in the amount of red blood cells. There is no way that acute anemia is the main cause of pallor. The second symptom is general fatigue of the body. Persistent fatigue is one of the most common causes of anemia. Fatigue may have other causes such as a bad lifestyle, but it is better to see a doctor if you suddenly become tired for a special reason because this condition can be a sign of dangerous diseases such as anemia. If you have condition, it is better to eat foods rich in iron, folic acid, and vitamin B12 and do physical activity regularly at the same time. The third sign is jaundice. Jaundice is a disorder that usually appears with yellowing of the skin and eyes. Yellow skin and eyes are caused by the body producing too much bilirubin. Bilirubin is formed due to the breakdown of dead red blood cells in the liver. Therefore, if you notice that you have jaundice, you need to take treatment measures as soon as possible because in several cases of this disease, blood is injected into your body to reduce the amount of bilirubin in your body. The fourth sign, blood clotting disorder. This disorder affects the way blood clots, so whenever you're injured, the bleeding needle come quickly and often no clot, and this causes a lot of bleeding and blood loss in a body of the person in question. This condition occurs when a person's body does not have enough blood cells called platelets. If you also have a lot of bleeding, you should get the necessary treatment immediately. The fifth sign, black or bloody stools. Black or bloody stools indicate bleeding inside a person's digestive tract. Blood loss in this way leads to anemia. To prevent thorny or blood stools, drink plenty of fluid and hydrate your body throughout the day. Also make sure you get enough fiber regularly during the day. The thick sign, heartbeat. A heart palpitations are a condition in which you feel your heart beats faster. Your heartbeat has an abnormal rhythm. Of course, there are many causes for heart populations such as drinking too much caffeine, including to your coffee, consuming too much alcohol, smoking, not exercising, and high blood pressure and cholesterol with populations can be a sign of anemia. 7th sign, Ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease that occurs when the wall of the large intestine and rectum become inflamed. This inflammation causes the bowel and its contents to move quickly and hence this condition causes ulcers to form that lead to bleeding and mucus secretion. These sores will undoubtedly lead to anemia. Symptoms of ulcerative colitis include bloody stools, diarrhea, fever, and anal pains. So if you think that you have these symptoms, you should be visited by a doctor because you are going to have anemia in your future. The eighth sign anemia due to vitamin B12 deficiency. This type of anemia occurs when the body cannot absorb enough vitamin B12. Deficiency of this mineral causes anemia. The progression of this type of anemia is very slow and difficult to diagnose. When you do not eat foods containing vitamin B12, you expose yourself to this disease. Ingredients such as fish, eggs, nuts, dairy products, red meat and oysters contain vitamin B12. One of the most common treatments by your doctor is injecting this vitamin. Ninth line, asthma. Asthma is a condition in which a person feels unable to get air into their lungs. Stress and anxiety are also major causes of shortness of breath, but recurrent shortness of breath is a sign of more serious problems such as anemia. Tenth line, sickle cell anemia. Another cause of anemia is sickle cell anemia. This genetic disease is related to red blood cells. Red blood cells are naturally smooth and round. Because of this, they can easily move through your blood vessels. But when you have sickle cell anemia, your red blood cells become abnormally shaped, losing their flexibility and getting stuck in your blood vessels. Sickle cell anemia has symptoms that usually occur during adolescence. Symptoms include fatigue or excessive irritability, enuresis, restlessness, jaundice, recurrent infections, chest pain. 11th sign, reduce the amount of iron and folic acid in your blood. 
Folic acid and the mineral iron are two substances that are deficient in anemia. So if according to tests show that the amount of these two substances in your body is low, you will get anemia. Iron deficiency will reduce the production of red blood cells. Common causes of iron deficiency anemia include not eating iron-rich foods, blood loss during menstruation and pregnancy, the body's inability to absorb iron and some internal bleeding. Anemia usually occurs during pregnancy, so they should be monitored regularly by a doctor. Folic acid deficiency is also associated with decreasing red blood cell production. The substance is excreted through urine. The most common cause of cancer is folic acid malnutrition. Foods such as oranges, pinto beans, and spinach contain folic acid, so pay more attention to iron and folic acid to prevent anemia. Please share your comments and suggestions with us in the comment section. Thank you for watching the program and hope it was useful.